Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my best cast off 545 class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 20 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, it'd help out the video a bunch and it helps out my channel a lot. Let's get straight into the attachments. To start us off with, I'm going to be using the Castovia 406 barrel. It adds damage range, hip fire accuracy, and bullet velocity with the cons being aim down sight speed and hip recoil control. Over on the tuning, I'm going with 0.44 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and 0.31 inches to the length to add aim down sight speed. Over on the stock, I'm going to be using the Markiev R7 stock. That's crouch movement speed, sprint speed, aim down sight speed with the cons being recoil control. Over on the tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 3.10 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 1.78 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. With the rear grip, I'm going to be using the true tack grip to add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, the cons being recoil control. For the rear grip tuning, I'm going to be going with negative 0.81 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.39 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. With the ammunition, I went ahead and put on the 545 high velocity, it adds bullet velocity, the cons are damage range. But the crazy thing is with this tuning, you can add damage range and bullet velocity. So that's what we're going to be going with. Over on the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the X10 Grave Digger underbarrel. It adds aiming idle stability, hip fire accuracy, recoil stabilization. The cons are aimed on sight speed and walking speed. The tuning I'm going with is a 0.62 ounce, negative 0.62 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed and negative 0.34 inches to the length to add aim walking speed. Overall, this is a very good class setup. I highly recommend trying it out. And if you guys do, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup for me to use, please let me know what that is down in the comments. I have crazy gameplay for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, we're going to be using the cast out 545. I was playing another game on Fortress, I think, but it didn't really go too well. I ended up dying off my nuke, so I'm not going to post that. Only had like 50 kills too, so... Come on, teammates. Like, you're just looking right at him. Just casually destroying the whole lobby. This gun is so good now. These guys are just full sprinting everywhere. What the heck is going on in my game? They're all spawning in the back now. No! What? How did he spawn right there? Yeah, 
Nice. Okay. My teammates are not getting off the hard point. That's great. That guy's just sitting on that car back there. My teammates are destroying them. Save some kills. On your stick. I need this ammo box. This ain't even gonna be a good game to post. Like, we're destroying them. I just got killed in one bullet. I wish he would have popped his head up a little bit faster. Honestly, I don't know what to do because my teammates, they want that hard point. Only got 42 kills, like, what do I do? Just got gunned. Thanks for the free kill, buddy. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon 
52 kills, try to get 60. I don't even, I didn't even see him at all. Gotta help my team somehow or so I'm gonna get cooked. What is he doing? John Smith. He saw his teammate die and he had to run straight to me. Well, they're spawning right here. Oh my god. No oh, last game, 68 kills, GG's. Thank you.